you haven't figured it out by now, you know that I am fishing with Mr. Fluke Master today. <laughs> That's right. We've actually already been out on the lake today. We're filming with Mr. Matt for MTB. We're getting some, some cool stuff. Got some already uh, really nice little frog bites and stuff like that. Uh, Fluke was hitting it up on the old Fluke this morning. Yeah, I was fishing a double Fluke rig. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. So we're back out here and we're gonna go see what we can do together, but I'm pumped, man. This is it's our first collab. Yep. It's been many years in the making. What's the name of this lake again? Lake, lake Athens. We've never been on this place before, neither of us. Surprisingly, I mean, I don't live too far from here, but it's a small lake, got lots of grass, good lily pads, good grasses. So it's gonna be all about that shallow action today. All right, here we go. He's gonna get me on that pole. Same spot as the last one, right? Straight up in the middle. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, when your line just flinches, knocks like a foot of slack. I'm gonna try a new bait. Feeling a little black and blue worm action. Gene, what's this thing called? It is a Strike King Rage Tail Cutter Worm. Strike King Rage Tail Cutter Worm. Never thrown one. Looks kind of compact, like a Cinco style, like the little tail on it. Dirty stained water we got here. I'm just feeling it. Skippers. I'm just a skipper. Oh yes. Are you kidding me? That was awesome. That was absolutely amazing. That was cool. Right on the, frog. Here. Right on the edge right of the right dock. Right on the edge of the corner of the dock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was just so cool. Not a giant, but it was probably the probably one of the coolest bites I've had in a while. Yeah, that was awesome. Pause on the edge of a dock and ba bam. Fish, but he does. They just smell good. Jimmy Houston kisses them. Yeah, I like to sniff them. them. He's got little long teeth in the front though. He's uh, he kind of scratched my nose. Feisty. Awesome. I was throwing one of uh. Throw one of Gene's frogs. I think this is the Booyah. Yeah, that's a Booyah pad crasher. Pad crasher. Throw it in the past. Decent little frog here. We're having a weird mixture of sunlight and clouds coming through. That's the first dock we've really hit today. And that one just came out right on the edge. Textbook. Textbook. Hey, come on now. I saw that one too. Dude. That was a good one. That's the second one. playing underneath this, these uh, floats and he was right out here on the edge. So we really don't know where these fish are going to be. They could be, They're everywhere. could be up in it. You, you've had some out on the edge, the fluke. So Matt just had one, he took your worm. He yeah, you took the whole, show the folks at home Exactly how you just got robbed right there. I that, did, that's, I did have something <laughs> I did at one point. <laughs> that's the littlest amount of plastic I've ever seen left on a, on a worm. Get him! Atta boy! Gene's got him going. That was a nice one. I'm talking about. Another dark one. Like black and white. Skinny though. Very skinny. Nicely done. So off, huh? <laughs> Damn. So I didn't mean to go that far. <laughs> to go. He wasn't sure he was gonna go that far, did he? No, I was not. <laughs> that was funny. Here you, go. you got him. Oh, oh. Did he break you off? Yes. You stole my fish. He got, and me. Then... Oh, he got me right there on that post. <sighs> So Matt stole Justin's fish. What a move! And broke it off. At least catch him. <laughs> oh. oh, swimming at you? Yep. Ah. Uh. I missed Matt by an inch. You're in here. 
They do. They love this pond grass. Oh, get him. I saw that. Dude, it started moving. Nope. Nice, bro. I saw it. Yeah, just kind of. I was like, is it that deep right there? <laughs> no, he got it. Oh my gosh, I just put my frog down. Come on now. Oh, there it is. There it is. For you. During my uh, trick shot challenge video. Uh -oh. Oh. Got taken like a little child. Oh. Like a little child. Oh, look at the swirl that just came up from your fish, too. Yeah. I did the same thing. I was like, is that grass? Oh, and he goes, man. whoa. He, uh, he was, he'd done that before. Yeah. Oh, no. We're still going on audio. Not I got it. Got a big one. Catastrophe. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I felt that one that you missed, man. That's the one. That's a good one. Yes. Okay, I think we figured something out here. In those little In those grass little edges. Grasses. Little ambush spots. Black well, hat. There's going to be three under this dot right here. I like it. Oh, yeah. Let's get him for a pick. He's, All right, guys. We'll... He's up in the grass. Let me just turn him over. He's good. He's got a little Bob Marley action happening. Yeah. We have definitely figured something out. Oh, there's another one. Oh, get him. We're, we're on a little, uh, man. We're on like a little scrape bite here. It's like they're all in these little grass holes. There was a big one. Smell grassy. Don't want to speak too soon, but I think we have a pattern going. We just fished a like 200 yard stretch of grass line and most of our bites came around little changes in the grass, either between two types of grass or where it made little pockets and points. Um, Matt lost, what, two, three really good ones? Yeah, there's, yeah, a long man, probably two. And um, I just caught one pretty good one and uh, Gene's been getting them. I got a couple, up, two or three. On up in there. Yeah. So, and the dock. There's no way you don't catch a fish off this dock right now. Matt, what are your, tell me about Goat Island. What's the deal? I've, I think that, uh, I mean, it has to be properly named greatest of all time for a reason. So. Hey, your sources say that Goat Island is. I've heard Goat Island, there's, there's share lunkers there and that's what you've been looking for. That's right. That's my goal. So this is all leading up to one big moment and that's going to Goat Island. All right. Gene's got really bad indigestion, guys. Mm -hmm. Got skills. And uh, every that once was, in a while. That was the challenging call of a whitetail buck. I thought it was something challenging inside of you. Nope. Gene, give me another sweet snort wheeze. No. Mm -mm. Okay, it was a one-time deal? Just a one-time deal. All right. You guys go to Gene's channel, ask him to do a snort, snort wheeze. <laughs> Tell him LFG sent you. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, here they go. They're posturing again. We've shifted over to a, a point, a little main lake point, bunch of grass. We just saw one come up and hit the surface. A lot of times in the fall, you'll get late afternoon, evening feeders, like schooling action at the surface. It's still kind of early, but I kind of have this feeling like it could happen if we stayed out here long enough. We could witness it. We saw a ton of shad out here in the morning. And here it is. The fluke master has broken out the double fluke rig. Got him? Got him. On the double, that's a good one too. Nice. This is awesome. I wanted you guys to see this happen. Fluke master living up to his name. Very good. Yeah, he definitely ate it good. Come on, open your mouth again. There we go. White ice. Double fluke ring. Double fluke. <gasps> Got it. 
broke me off. There he oh. goes. I see him. He was a good one too. Should it? Good thing that wasn't a share lunker. About eight fish back, I was saying. I should probably retie my leader. I never did. Gene told me. That's a good one, bro. That's a giant. Get him in here. Yes. yes. That a boy. We were just talking about Matt coming through with the big in. Nice. That a boy. Nicely done, Matt. Matt has he has broken the spell. He's knocked the dust off of himself. Show the folks at home. That's how it's done. Look at that one. Got that one. Flipping the old rage car around this grass. We've all been waiting for today. We're finally here on Goat Island. It's been talked about. We've heard about it for, oh gosh, it's going on years. Finally out here. Heard it's the best spot to be on this lake, hands down. And we've saved the best for last, folks. Where do we hear that from? Uh, I mean, I've heard it around the grapevine. Well, Matt's, but... Matt said that he heard it from the kid that was working at the Academy Sports. Yeah. What kind of depth are we working with on Goat 6 .9 Island? 6.9 feet with lots of grass up underneath. All right. Well. All right, guys, let's go. This place sucks. We're in a, a new part of the lake now. We ran up to the north end and it's just straight up lily pads. There's only one thing you do when you see a plethora of lily pads like this and the sun is going down. I think I'm gonna grab a whopper flop. You've guessed it. Well, Gene's going whopper flop. <laughs> but I'm going with a frog. That's what I've caught my biggest bass on today. And I enjoy catching bass on frogs. We've got an outside bend in the creek channel. So this is where I like to start when I'm up in the shallow water. You feeling it, Matt? Got my frog. It's frog time. Need some big old lily pads too. Oh, yes! Yeah. Get him, baby! It's a big one! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not as big as I thought. Okay, <laughs> get the dang net out. Oh. He was He's a freaking stud. That's a fat one too, buddy. Nice. Oh, nice. You it. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ah! Matt getting it done, that a boy. Oh, a shad. When I threw my frog, a shad oh, really? was flopping on top of a lily pad. Uh -oh. I like a tank coming through the lily pad. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Mm, he just barely sucked it. Got you, boy. I got all good one. Nice. <laughs> no, I'm good. He's, he's rolling. Right in the nose. Man, that was weird. He just kind of barely got it. You never know when that happens what you're going to get. Yummy. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, we're going to fish around here a little bit more. Had Matt behind the camera right now. He busted a good one on a frog. That's always how you like to end the day. I want to thank my man, Fluke Master. Finally went out here and I know caught it, some dude. fish in Texas, <laughs> man. Dude, let's do another awkward yeah, fist bump. Uh, it was a great day, guys. We had lots of good fish in the different grass areas. I hope you learned something from that. If you want to check out more awesome tips, you can go check out the man Fluke Master and watch his videos. I didn't know this today, but he told me that he was motivated to start his fishing videos from watching mine back in the day, which way made back me feel in the day. Old. <laughs> but that's awesome. I hope you guys are learning something from both of us, and I hope you learned something today. Uh, make sure you go check out the other videos at the end of this video or in the annotation links below, and we'll catch you guys later. See ya. Oh, oh, time to bump. Oh, 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 oh gosh. You want it? You want it? You want it? No, 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 no. Oh, oh I hear him, yeah. He's a huge stuff. Here it is. Oh, look at him go. Get him. I know, it's intense. Get him. Go, dude.
What? I'll take it if you don't want it. Ah, dang. Dude, they're just they're going, going, going off going. right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Look at them. Look at them. That's snook. That's snook, dude. Is that yeah. schools of snook? Josh has got a big snook. Oh, no. What? Dude. Hey, should we go? Should we go on the thing? Yeah, yeah. We should be snook, dude. What? Look at them go. Jack. 